You should be stoked. <laughs> I'm stoked. Uh, we're stoked. We're all stoked together. Yeah. Um, I'm up here with Colt. Say hi, Colt. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so today we just did a, we're doing a beta blaster for this black route on rope 37. Rope 37, uh, 510 something. <laughs> What did you think it was created? Uh, maybe like a BC, 510 BC. Okay, cool. So that's a little bit easier than what I intended to, intended to, to be, but that's okay. I intended the grade to be like a 510 CD. Um, and what you're going to find in Texas, at Texas Rock Gym is as we are a red point gym, we want people to climb things multiple times to, to work out the beta, to get it a little bit more efficient, and really hone your skills hone your tool bag um, of skills that you can put out onto the rock. And so when you watch Cole climb it, he crushes and what I call hack. He hacks through the uh, crux of the climb and so you can tell he's on our climbing team. So Cole, what did you think about this, uh, this route? Um, it, was, it was really fun. Just like it's not too hard, not too easy. So it's in the perfect like hot spot where it's just fun. Yeah. Um, for you. Yeah, for me. I don't know. I can't speak for anyone else yeah. besides me, uh, but I feel like the first first time I tried it, it was like when it was first day it was set. I uh, tweaked my elbow on it, so I had to find another way to do it almost, or almost a more careful way. This time I did it, so I did it a different way to where I, I think I mashed on it or something. I just did something different. Yeah, yeah. To get to the other hold without being as dynamic. I noticed you didn't pinch as hard this Pinch as time. hard, yeah. Yeah, you kind of didn't rely on it to hold you up. You just used it as a balance. Yeah, so I was just kind of like more relaxed cool. when I did it. That's nice. And then what he was saying when I hacked it, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. I just completely missed the hold that he would use. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, he's saying me, but yeah. yeah, that's all good. So I just kind of missed it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, that was cool, actually. I mean, but, but watching him and like hearing what he's saying now, um, and what I saw, and I can why I can tell he's our part of our climbing team is he got up to a situation where he was re recognizing that the climb was getting a little bit harder, and so he put a little bit more focus on his foot for for his feet, for his technique, and thinking, hey, how can I get some weight off of my hands? Um, am I being dumb right now? Am I just doing pull-ups? So he's checking in and he's he's walking his feet up. And he did some fancy footwork there, and you're going to see it's really cool footwork. You should definitely try to emulate that. Really nice, Colt. Good job there. But, and then he did that for like maybe three or four footsteps and realized, okay, I don't know exactly what it is to get out of this, so I'm just going to yard. I'm just going to, I'm just going to crank. And so sure enough, he just cranked, and he cranked into what I'm calling an undercling. 
and with my left hand. He comes into it with his right hand as a Gaston, like a deep Gaston, um, and then finds some better feet, higher than I could probably get my feet, because you're shorter than me. Yep. And then boom, crushes it up, crushes it. So it crushes the crux. Totally part of our climbing team. And then comes down and says it's a 510 BC. So yeah, anything more to say about this route? Um, not much. I feel like you can definitely tell where it gets harder because mm -hmm. it kind of gets not easy at the top, but a lot easier. Mm -hmm. I feel like one part of it that we didn't mention yet, but the part where you can barn door yeah. on it, you gotta be careful. Like, I don't want to give beta, but like. Well, I mean, no, this whole thing is a beta oh, blast. Oh, so yeah. we're actually giving the beta, beta away on this route. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's a good thing that we're trying to, it's a great opportunity to tell you guys kind of what a beta blaster is while I'm telling you what yeah. a beta blaster is. The, essentially, I don't like to give beta. And these videos were like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to get beta on these routes. These routes are so special to us. And we find that they are very special to our customers too, our climbers here. Um, but occasionally one can be a little bit far reaching, a little bit too techni technically advanced for most people to get it in that grade. So like where yeah. this is an upper 10, the technique involved is what you're going to see yeah. outside. But most gyms can't expect so much from their climber but we can try. And yeah. so hopefully by doing these beta blasters, people will see what it's like to climb, uh, what beta they're missing, what techniques they're missing, and they can just watch it. Yeah. Um, and, and hopefully that helps, they can emulate it, come in and climb, come in and talk to us, come in and climb with us, because I, I need more climbing partners, you need more climbing partners, we need more kids on our climbing team. Like, um, we just want to be surrounded by climbers. And so by sure. giving beta occasionally, <laughs> we can let people see what it's like to climb at that next level. Okay, all right, ready? Yeah. Set. <laughs> Climbing. Climbing. Okay, side pull. Side pull. Undercling. Undercling. Rock over. Pass on. Flat, flat. Jug. Fancy, fancy footwork. Reach through. Reestablish. I believe everyone is capable of climbing these routes. It's just a matter of figuring out the puzzle. And it shouldn't be a matter of physical, um, your, phys the, your physical abilities, be able to pull this hard or something. You should be able to twist your knee and pivot to lift your hip that lifts your shoulder, that extends your arm. You know, that's like six different things that's going on, not just one big lat, you know, that I'm pulling on. Um, and so here at Tech Rock Gym, we pride ourselves in setting um, outdoorsy, like, as, as outdoorsy as we can get, while our holds are obviously outside of the wall, not inside the wall. So we try to be as outdoorsy as possible uh, with all the technique and teaching stuff and shutting people down um, on purpose and having what's called stopper moves and routes and having beta. And I mean, the point of a crux in a climb, I know I'm talking a lot, but you gotta be educated. You're getting educated. Um, so yeah, the point of a crux is, is 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 to challenge somebody is to get the, is is to have something there that is gonna is gonna test their test their uh, test their grit test their abilities test their technique test their tool bag all the things that we've talked about in the past um, is like figuring out how to form your triangles you know how to get past this section a lot of times in life you have no idea what's next you have no idea you know you, you, we're often jumping into the unknown. And with climbing, there needs to be, and let me take away that word jumping, because y'all all know that I'm not talking about just jumping to the next hold. That's a big, big no-no. Don't just sit there and jump <laughs> to hold, hold to hold. Figure out your geometry. Figure out your, your techniques and the way that you can cheat. You know, that's the way the word I used when I was starting out as a climber was I had to figure out how to cheat my way up a route. 
not by using the wrong holds or using the wrong color, but I had to, I had to, in my brain, tell myself, I'm cheating right now. I'm not just physically pulling up. You know, I'm actually turning my knee and dropping my knee and dropping my hip, you know, like I said earlier, to raise my shoulder. I'm, 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 I'm working on body dynamics to get myself up the wall. And so I, essentially, like what you did through black, hacking your way up. That's a true climber. And I, I personally believe that, that a true climber finds a way through no matter what it looks like. It can look really hard, but you can find a way through and make it easy. And then hopefully through this process, watching beta blasters coming in and doing, doing the climb that we're talking about, you'll be able to break through what others see as hard and you have realized is not. So anyway, that in a nutshell is what beta blaster is. Thanks for staying with me very on that whole nutshell. big long rant. But yeah, a very large in nutshell. nutshell. It's one of those nuts you got like two, three nuts, yeah. and the four nuts, oh man, wow. Anyway, yeah, those nuts don't exist. So anyway, thanks again for listening to that whole spiel. Um, do you have anything more to add to that? Um, can I be honest? I don't remember a whole ton of what. No, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Honestly, I mean, you can watch it back. But uh, yeah. I'll no, do you have anything to say for yourself? For myself, yeah. um, I'm just glad that y'all at the gym, the setters, they set like outside and not trying to be a gym. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're like, not trying to be a rock gym. Right. <laughs> They're like they want to be like outside. Correct. You know? And we want people to get outside yeah. and like and we're really yeah. taking advantage of our platform. You know, For like sure. we uh, we just want people to be like all about like uh, overcoming obstacles. I don't care where you're at on that on yeah. that level. You know, that's why I'm a coach because I like enjoy working with people through the processes from from ground up. Because no matter where you are. We're all finding a struggle. We're all finding a challenge. So I'm finding a challenge, and that challenge better be just as hard for me as it is for you to get to your next yeah. grade. You, I'm putting in the work, you're putting in the work, we're all putting in the work together. So that's what makes this place really exciting. Yeah. Um, cool, thanks Colt. Thanks for doing this with me. I'm done. You got anything to add? No, I right. think that's it. Okay. Um, uh, well, thanks again. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll try to post up more videos yeah. soon. If you want to see anything other than Beta Blasters, be sure to comment below. Let us know what's up. But definitely, if you liked the video and you appreciated the content, be sure to like it, subscribe it, ring the bell so you get more of it. And remember, at Texas Rock Gym, you're only one rope away from your next climb. See you guys. Thanks. Peace. Nice. Okay.